Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today we're going to be looking at cropping a photo for the classroom banner. So this is taking a photo and cropping it to a very specific size for our classroom banner. Let's get into it. We're using Photopea today. Now Photopea is a web-based, browser-based application for editing photos that's closely resembling or closely matched uh, to Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop. Um, today, all we're going to do is use the crop tool. If you have edits that you want to make to this photo before you crop it, feel free. And you can see here, I've already loaded my image, but if you haven't loaded your image yet, what you can do is go to File and then Open, and that will allow you to open the file that you want to use. Now, I would recommend using a photo that is already horizontal. That's going to make this a little bit easier. And I would recommend choosing a photo, not unlike the one that I have here, that you can crop without losing a lot of information, without losing a lot of the photo. So we're going to select the crop tool. That's this tool right here over here on the left. One, two, three, four, the fifth tool down. It's this little square kind of thing. And the thing that we want to change when we start cropping using this uh, specific cropping for the classroom banner is we want to change this from free to fixed ratio. And what we want to do is set the width to four and then the height to one. And what that's going to do is basically give us this ratio of one to four, our, our width, um, is four times as long as our height. And that's the size of the classroom banner or the size that they want for the classroom banner. So let's take a look at this right here. After I uh, select four to one, you can see that the um, box has popped up here for the, um, uh, the crop box. And I'm, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. So command plus, um, should give me this uh, view. I can see a little bit more here. And what I want to do basically is, uh, you know, for me, the, the best part of the photo is, is right about here, okay? So I drag that crop box down and I include some of the uh, sunset clouds, a little bit of this foreground. That's what we call this, the, the part of the ground and the landscape that's closest to the photographer. Some of this water. And I think that's going to be the best part of the photo. All of this sky that's kind of up up top and a little bit of that dark sand that's on the bottom isn't quite as interesting. So when you're done, when you're ready to confirm, you go up here to the top and you click on this little checkbox. Now this photo I think is, is pretty good for the classroom banner. So I'm ready to save my work and I'm gonna go ahead here to file, export as JPEG. Now, depending on the kind of computer that you're using, you may see something kind of different here. For us, just click save. Don't adjust the width and the height. Don't change the format. Don't worry about this being zoomed in. We're just going to click Save. Now, my computer asks me where I want to save it. I'm going to save it to my desktop. If you have a Chromebook, you may or may not actually have this set up. And what I'm going to do is actually rename it here. So if you have the opportunity to rename it, please rename it. If not, you can always rename it in, dr in Drive later. What I want you to rename it is, is, your, is your name, right? So Stansfield underscore the assignment. So this is going to be Classroom Banner or Banner, and then your period. So period three or whatever it is and then we're going to click save that is all you need to do after you save it you can close it you don't have to it says there's unsaved work but we already saved it do you really want to close it we say okay that's fine and that's how you crop and save your classroom banner for this project using photo p